Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Well, I'm back to talk about another one of my makes from the Stylemaker Fabrics Spring Style Tour. Today, I'll be covering all the details about my Berta 6313 baby doll top. The website describes this top as a charming long-sleeved blouse or sleeveless top with frills. Both are young and fanciful styles for summer with a yoke, gathered front and back, and a back slit. This pattern is just my style. It's super cute and girly with those ruffle sleeves and gathered bodice, but still really comfortable because it's so loose fitting. It was actually my very first Berta style paper pattern and I have some thoughts. A lot of you have asked for a video reviewing their paper patterns and I will definitely have one of those soon. But for today, it's all about 6313. I used my bust measurement only to determine my size and cut a straight 12. I didn't make any alterations to the pattern whatsoever. I feel like the top fits really well everywhere except for the arm side. It is very high on me. This is not a problem I run into with many other patterns, which makes me think that this is something I might just have to look out for in Berta tops going forward. It's easy enough to scoop out the bottom of the armhole, so it's an easy fix. I'll probably lower it by three quarters of an inch. Other than that though, it's great right out of the envelope. For the fabric, I knew I needed a lightweight fabric to handle all the gathers and frills, but it also needed to have some structure to hold the A-line shape of the bodice. When I saw the clipped Swiss dot shirting, I knew it would be perfect. It comes in four colors, white, pink, sage, and blue, all of which are perfect for all of your spring tops. I chose the blue though because I knew it would pair well with the coral pants I made. The trim was a little tricky. I couldn't find light blue trim at my local shops and didn't feel comfortable ordering online because I knew it would be hard to match the color. So I decided to buy white eyelet trim from Joanne and dye it. This ended up being quite a process. I documented it on my Instagram stories and thought you'd like to watch the trials and errors in getting this trim the right color.
as you can see, I still didn't get a perfect match, but it's pretty close. And when it's attached to the top, it still looks cohesive. The only downside to all the testing is that I didn't end up having enough trim to embellish the bottom hem of the top like the pattern was designed. Honestly, I'm not sure if I really miss it. I might add it later, but I still like the top a lot as it is. The Swiss dot is a little transparent, so keep that in mind. The pattern calls for a self-lining, but I didn't think the dots would be comfortable against my skin, so I lined it with a cotton wall instead. The wall is also from Stylemaker Fabrics and comes in a ton of colors. I love it for a cotton lining. If you'd like to make this top but aren't in love with the Swiss dot, you can find other fabric options at Stylemaker Fabrics. Just click Fabric, Fabric Type, then Shirtings. Most of the options there will work for 6313. You just want to keep a couple things in mind. A rayon shirting is probably too drapey, so look for something with some cotton in it. The more cotton in the blend, the more structure the fabric will have. 100% cotton will have the most structure and will hold the shape of the A-line bodice the most. You also don't need any fabrics that have stretch in them, so try and stay away from anything with elastane or any other kind of stretchy material. Well, I think that does it for me today. I hope you enjoyed learning more about this top. Stay tuned for my Berta paper pattern review. I'll see you all soon. Bye!